All I can tell you is I died and I came back and it hurt. I've been envenomated by a Malayan pit viper. I've been envenomated by um, King Cobra, Indian Cobra, uh, Cape Cobra, and a Desert Horn Viper. We have one of the largest collections of venomous snakes in the world. We have close to 2,000 snakes on grounds and over 125 species. So I always tell people that, you know, nature is like a house. When you build a house, you put a foundation to the house. If you chip away at that foundation, the house falls in on top of you. So every time you're killing a snake, taking away an important part of nature. The Kentucky Reptile Zoo, one of its goals is education. We're a non institutional nonprofit, but the other thing we do is we extract venom for medical research. Mainly, that's one of our goals, is to provide the venom for uh, production of either anti-serum or for researchers who are doing research in AIDS, cancer, um, stroke, stuff like that. Everybody just thinks about dying when they think about snakes or about venom. I usually think about life, because it can give life as well as take away life. So it's a very interesting concoction. You know, I have no, have no fear of, you know, the snake. I have no fear of death. You know, death is something that's going to occur eventually. Uh, you know, the Bushido always said, you know, it's not when you die, it's how you die, if you die a good death. And so if I'm extracting venom that may save people's lives, then I'm going to die a good death. The way I look at it is if I save one life, it's worth it, you know. Um, I'm the type of person that would run in, instead of run away from trouble, I'd run right into trouble. And if somebody needed help, you know, um, if somebody was drowned, I'd dive in the water. I wouldn't think twice about it, even if I ended up drowned. You know, it's not that I think my life is not worth anything. I think that my life would not be worth something if I didn't, if I let somebody else die without attempting to help somebody. So, too many people go through life as observers. You know, I want to be a participant and I want to do the best I can.